Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making a creamy agua de café or an iced coffee drink. Okay, so to start this recipe, I am going to brew or actually use my percolator to make coffee. I'm going to make nine cups of coffee and I'll probably use six to seven cups in the recipe. So I'm going to add my coffee to the percolator and depending on how strong you want your coffee will determine how much coffee you want to use. I did see instructions to use one tablespoon of coarse ground coffee per cup. I'm actually going to add six tablespoons to nine cups of water. That's just my preference, but a strong coffee in this drink does work because you are adding other ingredients to sweeten it and to flavor it but definitely use and do what works for you. Once my coffee starts to percolate and I start seeing it to bubble up in the little glass knob, I'm going to let this gently percolate. I'm going to lower the heat if I need to, and I'm going to let this percolate for about six to seven minutes. Somewhere between four to seven minutes is a good time to let your coffee bubble and simmer. Okay, so now that my coffee has sort of set and cooled a bit, it's still kind of hot, I'm going to run it through a strainer with a filter that actually didn't fit my percolator, <laughs> but it does have this like fine mesh material to catch any coffee grinds. So let's see how many cups, let's see what a disaster I can make doing this. So now it's still it's still warm, almost hot still. So I'm going to add two chunks of Mexican hot chocolate. This is around one and a half to two ounces. And it's really to taste. And if you don't have it, it's not gonna make or break this recipe. This is just another level of flavor that I'm adding to this. So I'm just gonna let this dissolve and mix into the warm coffee. Okay, so my, my Mexican chocolate is mixed in with my coffee. At this point, the coffee is lukewarm. It's not really piping hot anymore. So what I'm going to do is start blending it with other ingredients. And I have to do it in batches because my blender cup only takes around six cups of liquid. So I'm going to pour, let's see how much will fit in here. Okay, so now I'm going to add some cinnamon. I would say a quarter teaspoon to a half teaspoon. I'm just eyeballing what I like there. One tablespoon of Mexican vanilla extract. Use what you have. I'm also going to add sweetened condensed milk to taste. Okay, now I'm going to blend this. The majority of the coffee is blended with the condensed milk. I'm just going to pour the rest of it already in my container. Okay, so I have all of my coffee that was blended with the sweetened condensed milk. Now I'm going to add one 12 fluid ounce can of evaporated milk. And at that point, you could give it a mix, add ice, and you have a delicious agua de café or just iced coffee drink. But 
I'm going to make this boozy today. There I have one ounce. Let's do two ounces of Kahlua. That is a coffee liqueur. It's, it is a rum and coffee liqueur, and it's perfect to go with this drink. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.